Hey friends, welcome back to Deep Breath. Hey, let's get in a time machine and take a quick trip back to 2020 during the COVID quarantine. I know, I know, we all block it out, but watch. In my mind, I can hear Ted Lasso and, and see Tiger King playing on the television. Remember that? I can see my children practicing these silly TikTok dances in the living room. I can feel my legs aching from the dozens of miles we walked together as a family. But most importantly, I smell fresh sourdough bread baking in the oven. It was funny, during COVID, baking bread became this cultural phenomenon that swept America. In fact, during a time when toilet paper and hand sanitizer were on shortages, did you know there were also flour and yeast shortages? Thousands of Americans learned the slow, patient art of baking bread from scratch. Now, I don't know what it was, but maybe baking your own bread represented like some semblance of stability or self-sufficiency. Or maybe the COVID crisis just made us crave carbs. <laughs> well, Jesus wasn't a baker, but did you know, bread was a big part of his ministry. The Gospel of John tells a story where Jesus miraculously fed 5,000 people with five loaves of bread. I don't know if it was sourdough, but 5,000 people were fed with five loaves. Now, you've probably heard this story before, but what comes after it is often overlooked. In John chapter 6, Jesus says, I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me will never be hungry again. Whoever believes in me will never be thirsty. Now, what does that mean? Guys, Jesus isn't being literal here. He's not saying, hey, I've got a lot in common with a sourdough starter. <laughs> Instead, he's saying that he, Jesus, the bread of life, he says, I'm essential for your spiritual nourishment, just like bread is essential for daily life. Jesus promises to sustain us in ways that bread alone never can. With Jesus, you'll never go hungry, at least spiritually hungry. He's giving you everything you need to survive and thrive today. So what are you hungry for this morning? Are you hungry for hope? Or are you hungry for to feel joy again? Maybe even feeling depressed. Are you hungry for, for peace, like freedom from this anxiety? What is your bread? Jesus says, I can satisfy your spiritual hunger. In fact, he promised to, it's his very nature. So let's take a bite this morning. Let's take a deep breath of the bread of life and ask Jesus to satisfy our souls all throughout today. Are you ready? Open your hands like you're opening it for your daily bread. I want you to breathe in with me. Bread of life. Satisfy my soul today. Again, one more time, deep breath. Bread of life. Satisfy my soul today. Lord Jesus, we come to you hungry this morning. We need you, your Holy Spirit, to sustain us. Jesus, would you right now give us a supernatural deposit of your peace, of your love, of your joy, of your patience to start this day. We come to you declaring, Jesus, you are enough. We trust you'll never let us go hungry. Thank you, Father, not just for physical bread, but the bread of eternal life. Holy Spirit, would you satisfy our souls with good things today? We love you. In Jesus' name, amen. Hey, friends, as you sit down to eat your meals today, as you eat your breakfast, or you grab a quick lunch, or maybe you sit down to dinner with family or friends tonight, remember with Jesus, you'll never go hungry no matter what's on the menu. So may, may you breathe deep and know today the bread of life will fill you today and he also has enough for tomorrow.